Well, Charlotte was um, born without um, kidneys, and she has been on dialysis, um, peritoneal dialysis, since she was about a month. Uh, life is very medical for Charlotte right now. Um, we have a lot of um, medicines that she needs to take every day. She, um, we have to disconnect and connect every morning and do dressing changes to her PD catheter and with her machine. Um, but she also does a lot of normal things. She likes to read books, she likes to play around the house, she likes to go on bike rides with us. Um, so it's, it's a mix. It's medical, but we try to make her life as normal as possible. Well, I would hope that it would be pretty normal. Um, I don't really know too much about what life is like after a kidney transplant, but right now, like I said, it's very medical um, with the dialysis, and once she gets a transplant, um, she should just be taking medicines, um, like immunosuppressant medicines, and hopefully she will live a fairly normal life. A lot of the time, um, most people think of people who are on dialysis or have kidney disease as being older. Um, most of the people are 60 years old or older that suffer from this disease, and um, they have diabetes, they have high blood pressure, and a lot of people don't think, oh, well, there's a little infant who was born without the kidneys, and she has the, she suffers from the exact same thing as these older people do, but she just hasn't had the life that they've lived already. So it's important that people know that kidney disease affects all ages. Just take it day by day, and just keep going, stay strong for your baby. Um, it's possible for them to thrive and to grow and to live on dialysis and get to that transplant point. Um, so just don't lose hope. Um, no matter what doctors tell you, always go in there and fight for your baby.